Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Mad Stalling, the Man Stalling, as always. It's Thursday, and you probably know what time it is right now. It's time for Taco. I'm sorry, it's not Taco. I'm sorry, it's Mad Taco here. It's time for Taco Thursdays. And this time around, I decided I wanted to do a theme with Taco Thursdays. I was thinking last night, and you know, I played the Super Sentai games, I played the Power Ranger games, and I played the Kamen Rider games and stuff. There is one, one particular hero that I have not attempted to. I did last week, and this game thing is really fast. But I feel like I should dedicate this whole stream to this one particular hero. This man was before Kamen Rider. His name was before Sentai. His name is Ultra Man. You know, the guy that starts off small, long, dumpy, giant, and has some of the best fights <laughs> in this man's band. I decided that I'm going to dedicate this whole stream to Ultra Man. So, the next two games I'm going to play, I'm going to have Ultra Man in it. I think um, so I'm playing this game. I played this last week and I actually enjoyed it. I should actually play a little more of it and just uh, see how the story goes. But the next two games I'm going to play will be Ultraman type games and Ultraman only. So um, let's get this started right here. Once again, this is um, Great Battle Full Blast. Um, it's a PSP game. And. You know, like I said, if you watched last week, pretty much last week, it was just, you know, you people go around, well, I go around, and I fight people, and apparently I was tagging in and out with um, certain people. So, um, let's get this started. That's how I just, oh, crap. Uh, that's right, I didn't save the last time, but I actually didn't turn it off before saving. So, I just thought it over again. I, I really don't mind. This time, I'll make sure I'll save. So when I save, I can just, um, I probably won't finish the game when I get a chance. I actually do enjoy this game. I think this game is actually, um, uh, it was pretty good. By the way, if anyone probably noticed, I'm not, respect the Iceman, as always. But the Ice Man's my cousin. You should probably know the difference by now. It's probably asleep for all I know. Just gonna skip through all this best way I can. I know I do know that I have to go through I do know I do have to go through three types of worlds. I gotta go through the Ultraman world, the Kamen Rider world, and the Gundam world. And everything. And then I I think I first played with the game. Tiga and one of the Gundams I can't really tell because I'm not too big on Gundam. Well, I was, but not as much as I was back then. Yeah, so this one. Here we go. Oh, I gotta do some tutorials again. I forgot about that. Alright, let me get for all this and then I'm gonna start playing better. Japanese. Oh. 
I just go past this as best way as I can because um I'm trying to get to the main part of this whole stream, which would be this guy. Like I said, I want to dedicate this whole stream to this one. Of course, even though I would say Ultraman is the first in the Tokusaku um series he's actually not. He's actually uh well, he's actually the first to be the ultra man. There's, there was a thing called Ultra Kill. And they be in 1966 also. Funny time when Ultra Man started. But Ultra Q is more of a monster type uh, person while Ultra Man is a man. It was actually one of the first things that I actually watched while I was doing my father uh, put me on some Ultraman tape they used to have. He just showed me a couple of things. Ultraman, and if you notice, I'm gonna leave it right here so you can actually look. If you notice one of the things about Ultraman, it looks like he has a bad back. Like most of the Ultraman's fight regularly, he always fight like this, slumped over. That's as he has a bad back. So uh, I don't know. It's kind of funny to me, but you know, it's, it's me absorbing, uh, absorbing something that's pretty dumb. Like I said, there's a bunch of talking, 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 talking. There is like a, a really deep storyline. I just don't know how to speak Japanese. <laughs> Going on tuts. Yeah, I'm actually, I was actually expecting somebody to say something to me about it. I don't, I don't know. Or maybe they actually did read and said, "Oh, we're not going to show up because 
on GTA. So how about the Xbox One? Uh, maybe you are, man. who knows? I mean, screw this story, man. Maybe you had to run weed. Does it sound good over there, Tuts? Just make sure. I want to make sure that guy can make this on. get past this because like I said I played this last week and I forgot to say that. Like I'm going to dedicate this whole thing to Ultraman but I get past that essential first. By the way, I, I know there's some other people in here, you know, you can't take it all. Except I'm not expecting the ice cream, you can't talk to me. I won't bite. I'm not out. Three tight combos on these people. Now we've all worked together.
Ну, Кстати, без тебя не что он Yeah, you know what? I just, I just read your comment. Yeah, see if you can get one. Apparently Japan does not care about the Xbox One. Frankly, I'm not surprised either. Uh, it's like, they didn't really care for the 360 too much. They, they didn't get had sales, but... They didn't really care for the 360 as much as they, uh... Um, anything. I mean, in my opinion, I feel like Microsoft probably know that and the Sony Town when it comes to um, games. Or Sony or Nintendo. Mainly Nintendo. But that's just my opinion. Right, you, you, you. I'd say go for it. I mean, what what games do you know that will be Japanese exclusive to um Yeah, that's true too, just reading your comments. What, um, is there any games that's going to be, um, Japan, Wolini, or Fox, Come out with something. I mean, I know they came out with uh, the new Dynasty Warriors, but they can also get that for PlayStation 4. You know, so I feel like they might have a choice. They'll probably choose um, the PS4 version over than the Xbox One version. But like I said, it's, obviously they have a plan. Whatever that plan is. Might not be doing well. <laughs> but all I know. Um, I'm going to play one more mission on this. And now I'm going to go on to the other Ultraman games that I have in store and ready for everyone to play.
So much animation. And this is actually a pretty good game for PSP. Believe it or not. Go ahead and make sure I save this time. Or not. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll finish this. Uh, finish this stage. I should have done it
Alright, well, I'm gonna end it like that. Yes, it's a man star himself. And this I'm dedicating this whole stream to um, the great Ultraman so I feel like that you know I did play that because I did have um, Ultraman in it so the next game I'm going to play is going to have Ultraman completely in it and the title of this game is just Ultraman it was for the PlayStation um, 2, and it actually, I, I want to say it was from the same makers that did the um, Space Sheriff Gavin game, which they just took old episodes of Gavin and actually made it into a video game form for everyone to, um, to actually play in the, as said, um, you know, show. So I think this is pretty much the same as that thing where you actually are playing Ultraman in certain episodes. And most of it, this is from the first, the very first Ultraman um, game. One of these days I might have to look up and see what the other um, things are. By the way, one these are one this is probably one of the um weirdest intros <laughs> ever. By the way, Ultra Q is a um is a show that they actually got Ultra Man from. So if you're wondering what the hell the Q means. Kagaku Tokso Tai no Hayata Tain wa Mikakuni Hiko Buttai o Tsisek Chuni Akai Hikari no Tamato Kekitz. Sono Mama Yuga Morieto Tsirak Shita. By the way, if you think that this is, um, no, the game is slow, no, it actually is not slow. This is exactly how it is. Battles are this, this. If you ever watch 
especially any of the original Ultraman series. The choreographed one here is severe, severely phased. Don't get away. Like, but yeah, the, the choreograph and everything on here is just bad. Like, it, it got better in time because it got better stuntmen to uh, actually do some things, but. We're talking about the original 1966 Ultraman. And if you think the fight between William Shatner and that monster from the Star Trek episode was bad, watch a couple episodes of Ultraman. You can hit some of the worst choreographed fights you will ever see in TV. Which makes it so fun. I mean, I haven't watched any of the new ones. I need to, like you said. Oh, 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 oh. But if you ever watch the new ones, some of the um, oh yeah, I was gonna play the Ultimate Arcade game. I might, you know, I might just do that. Like, I might throw in a bonus. But yeah, some of the some of the worst fight you would ever see on TV. Alright, I'm gonna try this again. 
Could die right now. <laughs> Can you imagine having a car alarm with that? Just going on the other side. See the Hatsudenshoga Kaisa. Hatsudenshoga Kaisa. I mean, after a while, it gets annoying. You know, like, I'm not gonna die. Stop beeping. What the hell? Pretty sure in Japan this is their life alert. <laughs> I'm falling and I can't Oh, what the hell? 
急激に消耗するそのエネルギーが後に進むためにこの時代に変わるのか幻滅を始めるのだ<笑> I don't mean like this but the end of the world but at the worst last draw in the history of anything Make a dish out for punishment. I keep missing that body splash. Make a dish out punishment, but God forbid he gets hit once. Space, I don't know. Good, 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 good. Front door, front door. Yes. It's very good. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fight you now. Wow, I just gotta try to get a new suit just to uh, try to take that beeping off. Can you imagine with a pacemaker? Nazo no Koku Jigen will chill such a Maboroshi no Machi, Baraji at Tadoritsi. This is gonna be the last monster. So, Kode Kalerawa, Snarras to Kobe Arawata, Initia no Kaibutsuni or so on. I'm gonna switch over to the, the next one.砂漠の人々を襲う怪物アントラーを食い止めるため、早田は立ち上がった。ああ。Game over. Ghost, 
I don't play AOL. Well. I'm, I'm the one console junkie that, that has not swallowed Kool Aid just yet. And everybody else does. I haven't swallowed that Kool Aid. So, last game I'm going to play, and I'm going to try to make this as, um, better than the last one. I'm going to go ahead and play what I think is a, well, I won't say it's a better game, but it's a little more updated than, um, for you, for you, um, yeah, because you know how I feel about you. Um, by the way, where's my B5 Rice? You were supposed to owe me that. Anyway, so a better game than um, the original Ultraman game is um, a little game called Ultraman Fighting Evolution. I think that's what the game is called. Let me just uh, get the screen up. Ultraman Fighting Evolution Rebirth. Um, it's the last of the Fighting Evolution games. I think it's the last of the Fighting Evolution games. This one was on PlayStation 2. I don't know if you remember the Ultraman Fighting Evolution Rebirth. Um, this one has pretty much all of the other Ultramans. Not just Ultraman 1, but some of the other older Ultramans. Including Tiga. Oh, we can look at it. We got Ultraman, which is the first one, Ultraman 7, Ultra 7, Ultraman Taro or Zemo, Tiga, which is the one I know of, because like, that's what I watched. 
Gaia, Cosmos, and a whole bunch of other ones I got on the Um, there is a story mode. I really don't feel like going for the story mode. <laughs> that could be a pain in the ass. Um, so um, I'm just gonna play a couple of um, matches against different people. Dead, dead. Um, fight. Um, we'll see what
take that as a small victory. But that dude was getting on my nerves. <laughs> This is just a face of another Ultraman, so... Play one more of this um, game and then 
I'll come back next week and I'll have some more Ultraman games. I'm going to do a little Ultraman. came in and actually watched this. I appreciate y'all doing it and um you know but before I go I do have a couple of things I have to do and just start this up. Hopefully y'all can hear this. If not I apologize but I'm a little better. Yeah here we go. Hopefully y'all can hear this. But um Tokyo Thursday it's been brought to you by the video game concert junkies. Of course, you know, we're not just one person. It's not just Spike the Iceman. It's me also. It's that damn Nodge and Nonchalant. Tuxedo Mask. Um, you know, Dago Kango, VG Truth. The list just goes on and on. Sneak Old Tool. But we're, we have a long list. We have an army, as we like to say. Um, here's up on, don't, don't mind the concert junk, um, build, VG concert junkies dot com, because that's not there no more, it's now dot net. So, um, you go to 
vgconsciousjunkies.net. You know, check out our news or whatever. Our YouTube um, channel, the, um, under the VG Conscious Junkies. Our Twitter. We also have a Facebook page. We have, um, you know, we, we have an Instagram. We're going to start working on it soon. And we're trying to come up. So, everything you see down in the bottom, just look for us and we'll, um, you know, you'll see what we're doing. And, and remember, you're not a junkie unless you're a conscious junkie. Hope I said that right, nice man. It's also brought to you um, by J1 Studios. Um, if you want to get all your news, reviews, trailers, comments, music, and more, go to J1Studios.com. And also, September 13th, 14th, I'm sorry about to get that wrong, September 14th. They're having their J1 Con. Um, I don't know this is you know, the information I don't have it in front of me. I should have gotten that, but by next week, you, um, I will make sure I have all the information or go to their website and they'll probably have all the information there also. It's also brought to you by Tatsio Mask. Tatsio Mask, our DJ, man spin stuff with those roses. He just came out with a new track yesterday. I haven't got a chance to listen to it, but I will listen to it later on today. So, all the information you see on there, except for the Mistral. Well, the Mistral, I think one of them he doesn't have anymore, I know that. Because he um, moves enough thing. Maybe he can give me a new banner and I can update it as much as I can. But yeah, check him out on the Seal Man, it's on his Facebook and his um, YouTube, and he has some stuff from there. Also, brought to you by Battlehouse Dojo. Our good friend Daigo Kingo, he um, does pretty much the same exact thing. Oh, he's all those are right? Alright, good. I'm, I just got confirmation from um, the Seal Man. Everything I had on there is right. Alright. Um, but back to Battlehouse Dojo, our good friend Daigo Kingo streams a bunch of fighting games. He's either playing it or he's, you know, recording it from other people. Doesn't matter. We give the man some um, love. He's also part of the Constant Junkies group when he's not doing Battlehouse Dojo. So, um, everything you see there, go in there and, um, support the man. Because we support him and he supports us. And also brought to you by Daigo Comics. Mr. Game Hands, that's me known as. So, um, that's all his Twitter information, his blog spot, his Facebook, and his YouTube. He also does a couple of streaming here and there as, as well. So, you know, like I said, just keep keep supporting the people who support us by going to these websites. And hopefully by then, you know, he may. Maybe he might actually say something about us one time. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> anyway... Let me get this out of the way. Thank you once again for tuning in. Until next time, folks, next, next Thursday, if I'm not dead, hope to see y'all soon. Thank you, and um, have a nice day.